So start becoming aware of what do you tell yourself? Is it something that is supporting you in coming back up? Or is it something that's dragging you, draining you, spiraling you down? That's one side of it. The other side of it is the expectation that you have for your life, for your teenager. This mom in particular has a, a problematic teenager, a teenager that is himself suffering, and he got better in the past year or so. It got to a point where things be were becoming better. He was functioning better. He was interacting better. And somehow she was expecting the situation to stay like that without any more hiccups. So when you get to a hiccup and you expect that we were done with that, there is another layer of disappointment, another layer of fear. Will it ever be okay? So I would reflect on the expectations that I have for my teenager. And I would consciously intend to know that if and when something will happen, we will have a solution. It will not be the end of the world. So knowing, acknowledging that you're resourceful, you've been resourceful in the past, that doesn't disappear. Acknowledging that it's not going to be the end of the world. So that means not catastrophizing and going right away to the worst case scenario, like it's going to stay like that forever. You will never be happy. Um, they're gonna, their life is going to be ruined. They're going to end up blah, 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 fill in the blank. So remembering you're resourceful, remembering it's temporary and giving yourself a break. <laughs> 